One thing, so I know y'all, one thing about Lil Bitch, she do call out a lot of stuff. Like, you can ask Willie. She called out at least four of the songs that he was going to sing when he was on American Idol. Wow. And he was like, oh my God, boo, you should be a prophet. No. <laughs> You know he in the church, so that's why. <laughs> but, like, it's not even about being a prophet. That's why I be trying to tell y'all. It's just some people in this world, they're just naturally good at that. Carla is one. Yeah. It's a blessing and, and a curse be to a be around someone like that because they're constantly making you do shadow work. They're constantly making you think about shit that you may not want to think about. But sometimes that be on point in helping you, like, avoid destruction and What's up, up y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, y'all, we want to bring attention to our latest addition to our merch store, Remember to laugh. Me and Carla believe that uh, the secret to a good life is laughter. The yeah. more you laugh, the higher your vibrations, and the higher your vibrations, the more positive manifestations you will experience. If you want to support us by wearing this reminder to laugh, then visit our website, www.nickandcarla.com. The link is in our description. All right, babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, so today we're reacting to us outsiders. The real reason Matt left. All right, babe, what, you want to tell them kind of a little? Yeah, so um, we saw something in our Discord going on about this particular um, video. So we was like, okay, let's just react to it and let's just see what it's giving. Yeah, so we're gonna see what it's giving. Yeah, before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. All right. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you <laughs> like, subscribe, leave those comments down. Blab. Hold on, but yeah, but just about Matt. Like I, we do remember seeing him in the videos, and then all of a sudden, you know, he wasn't in the videos anymore. I'm sure people was asking, like, where the hell is Matt? Yeah. And um, this tend to happen all the time. You like, you see people in the videos, then all of a sudden you don't see them. People be thinking it's beef and all that shit. And yeah. hey. Yes, yeah. we finna find out what's happening with Matt. Oh, like, below. How many of our kids still do this? Ah! Did you ever do that? Scratch that, welcome to the channel. It's no. bad. What? Bad. Absolutely the fuck not. Why because, is this hard to believe? Because you was bad. <laughs> but I ain't have to stick your damn my motherfucking the nose. The same way how you held that cookie up to your eye when your mama was being sworn in as a police officer. Or getting that award. Okay, maybe I'll put it in there. See that? <laughs> maybe I'll maybe yeah. tell him too. Look, Nick mom, when she getting an award? No, she was sworn in to become a police she officer. She was being sworn in. You got Nick little badass back that got a cookie held up to her eyes. So you wouldn't do that right there. I probably I, did. I probably did. <laughs> and I ate the cookie, so yeah, I probably did. Maybe, maybe even put the star in my damn mouth. <laughs> and a little bit. Hey y'all. What's Look up, Matt? Back. What's your name? Ah, she said, What's your name? It's me. It's me. Matt. What's up, Fake Matt? Fake ass Prince Charming. <laughs> yeah, aka okay, 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 <laughs> the baddies. Boy, we are back with another interesting video, guys. You already know. Interesting. Fire. Flames. Explosion! How you know? You already know we strictly do it for the people, babe. 
So who? So if you got a problem with that, if she got a problem with that, if I got a problem with that, if I buy it as grandmama's got a problem with that, because it is my grandmama that's buying it. Let's talk about my grandmama. Y'all gonna have to say that with the people because um, look him over here doing strictly for who? The uh, not look Madam him. Buddha. <laughs> Damn, it is a shame that it is now considered an insult for someone to say you look like look him. Oh, honey. Look, Kim was beautiful Man, at one point in her what? life. Now, she be looking like a damn leprechaun. I used to be, I remember I used to be like, this bitch is bad. It but was just, now, yeah. what's she giving that? And then, it's like sometimes if she come, it's kind of remind me of um, Uncanny Valley. If y'all are not familiar with that, is they had to actually kind of critique or, or fix the way they would make certain uh, CGI characters look on screen because... It's, oh, it's something yeah. called Uncanny Valley where the character looks close to human, but not close enough. And because of that, it puts some sort of fear in our body when we see it, especially kids. You get a very natural reaction to kids. And sometimes, uh, look him, if she walk out on stage the wrong way, or if you just see her and it catch you off guard, it actually, you can feel it in your body. Like, what the fuck is that? It's because I think she's kind of like in that uncanny valley where it's like, she yeah. look human, but it's just some of the off. That's why I say you have to be careful with, like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for people. Like, if you don't like something, change it. But I feel like don't jump off on the deep end. But I also feel like you should take the time. What well, it, it's probably cotton. Okay, go ahead though. Take yeah, the time. It's you should take so the time. So you should um, take the time to, because this is something that I had to do. You have to take the time and learn to love yourself. Y'all, it's been times that I've stood in the mirror and um found something that i really admire about myself and you'll be surprised when you do that you will start to notice other things that you really love about yourself so i think once you start taking the time just to get to love yourself and do things that will help you feel even better that part it's like you'll fall in love with yourself so you don't have to do that stuff and then later on when you age because when you age the body automatically you know droops it sags it you know so that's what that's why i said tiny a lot of them they do yeah. things when they're young but when you old your body still is shifting and changing so it starts making your face look a certain type of way which we already have like one hand bigger than the other one eye bigger than the one other one boob bigger than the it's other. like our lips you may have some people lips one lip go a certain type of way so it's like when you do stuff to start trying to balance that shit out you got to remember the body's still adjusting yeah yeah that's why you're not matching i don't care and without further ado she said she ain't matching and without further ado we can't even tell she ain't match. yeah it just cuts off you you sad because you don't see yourself you don't see yourself so you don't know it's how you okay. look you look good. <laughs> it's okay you look you're all right <laughs> All right, y'all, so we are back with an interesting video. Um, this video here is not a highly requested video, but it's highly requested. Because y'all been asking. Because y'all have been asking about Matt. And you know, we're real friends. Like, we ain't them type of friends that's just gonna be like, oh, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let that friend go through the trials and tribulations of life. You know how mama tried to keep us mm -hmm. from doing stuff? Cause yeah. this, this the mama right here. This the mama that, that called it out baby okay mama said this gonna happen that gonna happen this gonna happen and you gonna be right back here son said i'm a grown-ass man i got this i got this son come to the daddy and be like oh, she, well she i said, think i'm gonna just take daddy. this journey and, da -da -da. and the daddy like go ahead i ain't gonna stop you go I'm gonna set you free like a little bird about it we'll never want anybody or any of our friends that think we don't want you to pursue your happiness or whatever love you think is there all right so go ahead and let i'm gonna let shabaka and um shabaka. mama <laughs> take over because i really was saying bad laughing because i already knew yeah no. okay i did what happened so man you want somebody you want to tell the people where you've been hmm what's up y'all you said it so, already 
Okay. <laughs> but anyways, so I was in a relationship, you know, with someone I've been known from, you know, back home. And I thought it would work out and work itself out. But I later, you know, over time, I tried to accept certain things. I would probably try to say, you know, but um, <laughs> I'm high as fuck. <laughs> but no, like seriously. Have um, we been knowing this person that you're talking to? How long yeah. we've been knowing them? Since the green, you would yeah. say? So Since what'd that be about? Fort Lauderdale, that's like- what? Five years ago? No, that's four. Like, Six, four years ago. About four or five years ago. Oh, four. Four years ago? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, about five. Yeah, I was going to say, you moved in the greens in 15, 16. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's been about five years, y'all. So, we've been on this same person. Right? Mm hmm You believe this person really was all for you, yeah, in like, love with you, y'all was going to, you know, I really thought it. this person was, like, for me and all that and this, that, and the third, but... I later found out, I mean, I later found out that's basically <laughs> not the case. It's the fault. <laughs> that's not the case. You later found Because I didn't want, I don't know. I you later found out certain, certain qualities that he possessed, I couldn't, I can't get with. So did you not know of these qualities Back and forth, a lot of the when we initially was real mad and ready to go to war with our friend about what a person was doing to our friend. Some of them, but not when you like be with somebody every day and mm -hmm. interact with them every day. Well, our friend is cute as hell. Period. Okay, so what I'm gathering, he um, so they had already actually had a run in with his ex, um, something that that the ex did to their own friend. Not so, not talking about him. Yeah, so it, it seemed like, kind of like what I said, like when you're friends and you are going through something, a lot of times you tend to vent to your friends. So whatever Matt was going through, it seemed like they knew about it and they didn't like what he was going through. So it sounded like it, they almost had a situation with whoever he's in a relationship with. So, but Matt is saying that, so it sounds like they're basically saying like, you knew that this person You already knew he was toxic. Qualities. He was toxic. Yeah, but Matt is saying not until you start being with a person every day. What does that so, mean? I don't know. So maybe, maybe Red and them could see something that he couldn't see. Or maybe he was blinded by love or some shit. I mean, that's typically the case. Just think about P Valley, Keyshawn, oh, and uh, and a uh, redneck dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and can't nobody really make her leave until she's ready to leave. Like I don't even know if she gonna get ready to leave. Oh, uh, and now, but we'll see. Yeah, I wanna, yeah, but you know something? I think sometimes <clears throat> with Haley trying to say. Yeah, me. I think sometimes people they don't realize the situation they're in or they feel like the situation can get better for whatever reason. It's like they're being optimistic, optimistic, even though other people are like saying no. You mm. see what I'm saying? So you have people out there. And you gotta that, let them learn on their own though. Yeah, but it's, it's crazy because you have some people that don't ever learn. And it's yeah. almost like, you, at what point do you decide I can't be the safety net number? No well, I do hope that he learned this go round because, okay, let's just get into the video first because I don't, I don't wanna. So, mom. Mom. What do you no, like mom, <laughs> <laughs> no, because G is, you did call it out. Like, for one, one thing, so I know, y'all, one thing about a little bit, she do call out a lot of stuff. Like, you can ask Willie. She called out at least four of the songs that he was going to sing when he was on American Idol. Wow. And he was like, oh, my God, Pooh, you should be a prophet. No. 
know he in the church, so that's why. <laughs> but, like, it's not even about being a prophet. That's why I be trying to tell y'all. It's just some people in this world, they're just naturally good at that. Carla is one. Yeah. It's a blessing and, and a curse be to a be around someone like that because they're constantly making you do shadow work. They're constantly making you think about shit that you may not want to think about. But sometimes that be on point in helping you, like, avoid destruction and shit you know what i'm saying yeah but sometimes it can be it a protect- blessing and a curse for us you know because a lot of times when we say things or we know that you know we try to give warning right sometimes people don't take it well and it's almost like even though we feel like we are doing the right thing um sometimes people can go off on us even though we're trying we're actually doing it from a good place you know, and some I call it, I don't know. You can say it's your higher self, your intuition. I don't know. I'm thankful for it. It's just a natural <clears throat> gift. Like, we all have yeah. our own natural gifts that we're meant to present to the world. Yeah. But it's just like, that's like your natural born gift. Yeah. It's like you and can it's, just see truth. Yeah, and it's been times that if I didn't do something or didn't speak on something, I would kick myself in the end. And um, my good friend, Sonya, she, I remember back in the day, I used to tell herself, and she'd be like, nah, friend, you need to go and follow your first mind, because you know how you get. Yeah, so. like, Carla has <laughs> helped me a lot, but I've also have seen her getting gone off a lot. Yeah. I've actually went off on Carla yeah. a few times for, you know, making me see things I didn't want to see. So, yeah, I, yeah. I can see the blessing and the curse in on it. <laughs> but for real, though, she did call it out, like, is this a moment of what well, Libby told you so? Did you ever feel like that? I mean, yeah, most definitely. Okay. Libby? Well, you guys, you know, it's always warning before destruction. And he done had plenty of warnings and destructions. So I'm like, you know, I'm coming from a, you know how it went this time and what it came down to why would you want to do it again like i just don't understand the purpose of steady trying to lust after a person because it's not love because when a person love you they show you that they love you they're gonna make time to show you they're gonna their their actions alone is, is gonna show i love you and if their actions is not showing i love you and i just want to you know get up under you then that's how i'm gonna treat you so that's what i was basically going off of i'm like you not making this situation make sense but since you gotta learn it on your own you gonna learn it on your own and i'm gonna be there and i'm not well i'm not gonna say i'm gonna be there but i'm not gonna have anything to say about it go do mm-hmm. whatever it is that you want to do and that's what it, it did end up it coming will down always to always be here <laughs> okay <laughs> this is Okay, because this is the thing, and I think people like us, we don't understand when people are in situations like this, right? We try to, but after a while, we will prefer to separate ourselves from the situation. So let's just go back to Pea Valley and um, Miss Mississippi, right? So, and hold on, for those of y'all who are not watching Miss uh, Pea Valley, uh, Miss Mississippi or Keyshawn, she is a woman who's currently in a very bad domestic violence situation with her husband. Is, are they married yet? I don't even know. He beats the shit out of her and people have tried to save her. He started abusing the kids now. Yeah, and she hasn't left yet. So, but yeah. go ahead. So, just say for instance, in that situation, she knows that um, this situation is bad. Okay, they got together when they were young but she's starting to see even though people have said or they've been asking why do you stay why do you keep going back when she's there she knows that the situation is bad so it's like in that moment i don't know that you can say okay you already have been through the bad shit, so why you keep going back look what keisha is doing like when she's off at her job She knows that she's going to have that moment where he's going to hit her again. Even though he said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. I want to be better. But she also knows that he's a damaged person. And I think sometimes people try to save damaged people and that's not what they need. They actually need help. You and know? I also think that she feels guilty because she feel like his life would be better if he wouldn't have chose her black ass over um, 
you know, yeah, like, in, like his that regular they're life. in this situation because. But yeah. that's and that's her own self talk that she have to work out of, which we don't really understand the intricate details of why he's actually going back to that individual, what connection they have, you know, outside of what we see on, you know, from the outside looking in. Could it be that maybe this is the first time that they experience love. Cause I think sometimes yeah. people get caught up in situations where it's like, okay, I haven't been with anybody or this is the first person that made me feel alive. Yeah. So even like though they're, drug. yeah. So like, even though they're doing things, it's like when it's good, it's good. Even though they know when it's bad, it's bad. But it's like, I still need the good times because when I'm not with this person, I feel like I really don't have anybody, so to Especially, speak. we don't know his story, but what if he's never experienced love, what he perceives as love as a child, and that dude is the first time experiencing that. That's like a fucking high, you know? Yeah. You're going to chase it. And like, it's I, like, even though Libby Nim is his friend, they still can't get him that high. They can't. Nope. Nope. Can't. You see? Nope. Yeah. Like that's what it ended up coming down to because it's like a, I can't I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to control your life I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to tell you what to do even if I am trying to tell you what to do at some point I gotta let up and just let you go ahead and just keep running yourself into a wall but I'm not gonna sit here and keep sticking around for it to be honest with you like I'm not I'm not that type of friend I don't I don't care what nobody say I'm not the, I'm not the person that want to sit there and watch a person run their head into the wall three million times and then on the 400 million time now you want to be like you know what you've been making no I I, 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 I don't care for it but you so know. it's like a you know you got to go out there you got to learn that lesson on your own you gonna have to you gonna have to figure it out because it's like you know a lot of things was said a lot of things was meant you know and you know it is what it is hopefully this is a situation where you actually it's, re it's a real lesson that's like learned it's a real lesson we versus, it was last time. versus right. it being like something like oh well that just didn't work out because a lot of people do leave situations where girl that one just didn't work out the next one will be better and it's like no where do you have time to figure out what's and who is the real problem and not trying to make an excuse so it's like, for sus. I really feel like sus, even though sus did have warning before destruction in Fort Lauderdale and then came up here and had another warning before destruction, I feel like sus thought it to be different because they moved into the same space. Mm -hmm. Because it turned into them living together versus how it was, you know, with us just being in our own separate place or what have you. But uh -huh. sometimes, like you said, you know what, go ahead. Cause that's what you gonna need in order for but you to know. But even with, even with it living, even before you that. was living, even before living in the same place, there was still disrespect. So yeah, it's like, why right. even move somewhere with somebody where there's all, you have there's automatically disrespect. Mm -hmm. You really think you finna disrespect me on the outside, then I'm finna come live with you, you and have then have hope. to be under a roof to where I'm really getting disrespected and I ain't got nobody to run to? Okay. Like that's okay. Let me just speak on this just because I feel like um, I kind of had a situation like this. So, for the people that have been following us for a long time, you know that I used to be married to a man and um, I end up cheating on him with a female, right? So, um, at some point in the situation, the um, female even though she knew I was married, um, she actually told me I would never ask you to pick between me and your husband. And um, at some point they both knew about each other, right? And um, he was more so trying to understand the situation. Why, like, what was it I was getting over there with the female and still wanting to save the marriage, even though it was a lot of other shit going on in our marriage, but it's still no excuse for what I did. So at some point, because um, my husband at the time knew that I was with the female, I guess the female was on some, like, why are you even with him at this point? So she did it, it started to cause issues like with me and her and then of course me and my husband we was having issues too so even though she said she would never ask me to leave she did end up asking me to leave and 
of course, that was a whole nother issue. So we was having issues already. We was already bumping heads. It was like it was getting chaotic. And I was just like, you know something? Maybe something in her is feeling like she ain't never gonna leave him. I feel like she got me in a bad place. So I was just like, okay, you know something? End up making the decision, I end up leaving. And I moved in with her because even though we was getting into it, I was like, maybe this will make it better. Maybe this will make it better and she would feel like, you know, she's getting what she want out of the situation. So she won't have in her head maybe I'm over here still sleeping with him or what is it that she's doing when she's not around me? I was like, okay, if I go ahead and move in with her, it's going to dead the situation and it should make things better with us. That could have been what Matt was thinking when he was like, like even though a little bit is saying, y'all was already having issues. Like you're already disrespecting me. So why am I going to move in with you for you to disrespect me? Matt could have been thinking, maybe things would be different if we live together because then this person will actually see like i really love you and i'm really trying to do what i can do to make this relationship work so maybe he was thinking like okay things are actually gonna get better because that's what i thought even though things didn't get better it got to a point we were still arguing i became depressed because i was just like why did I even move myself into this situation? So sometimes you do be thinking you're making the best decision and you can end up finding out that you didn't. So that could have been what he was thinking, even though, you know, it sounded like he was already going through stuff um, because I was going through stuff with the female. But for whatever reason, I felt like if I move in, it's going to make things better. It's like all this little petty stuff that we arguing over, we're not going to be arguing over this because she'll see like i really love you i'm really trying to do what it takes to make this relationship work and he probably did the same thing but again when a person is damaged it's like you would drain yourself dry trying to give give to a damaged person when they haven't first did the work to heal either on their own to grow to develop to understand what demons they're fighting and for them to try to get through it so that's probably why he moved in that's, so that's probably why he whatever this is that's going on with them that's probably why that wedge happened with his friendship because he probably actually just was like okay i'm gonna fully choose this relationship you know and that's probably what happened that's a that opened my mind that, that, that uh, example. Just me though. Like That's I said, you, but like I said, you got those who also have, have her you also have own. those who have hope within the relationship, just like you got those yeah. wives that stick with their husbands exactly. that cheat on them several times because yeah. they just want to, they want their husband to either get it or we're going to go to counseling to make things work. So that hope shit also do play a part because mm -hmm. we don't know what they talk about on the phone. Yep, we don't know how, y'all yep. already know how these dudes can manipulate situations and get in our headspace and make us feel one way when it's really going to turn out to be my real way and who <laughs> I really am as a person. But if you already show who you really, you already show who you really was as a person, I why know. do that person got to keep coming out to show that's you? That's why I say That's hope. just like sitting right <laughs> here and you be, and you get, you get punched one time. You like, oh, okay, you get punched again, right, right then and there. And it's like, oh, okay. Then they be like, oh, I ain't going to do it no more. And two seconds later, you don't got DDT it again. It's like, well, yeah, I got to come you out. You be like, what it's going to take. And I think because we, okay. Some people always have hope that people can change, right? So just because somebody do something doesn't mean that they are beneath change. So maybe whatever the relationship is or maybe whatever connection that Matt have with this person, he probably did feel like this person could change. Like even though he went through whatever, like I said, he's trying to give his all to it to actually make it work. But it sounds like Lil Bit Nim could see something that he couldn't see because he was blinded by love. And what like it took you, was them going, getting into the same space, and now you mm -hmm. see how. But to be honest with y'all, as a person, to be honest yeah. with y'all, people in relationships say they be done. I don't believe until I see it. Yeah, so we don't believe it, Matthew. So it's like I don't believe stuff till I see it. You can sit here and talk so in your mouth, say you done, say you this, say you that. Uh, okay, 
you you probably upset right now mm -hmm. but guess what when he get the text in that phone saying what you want to hear doing yeah. the things that you want to do it's easy that's very true because like carla she deals again carla deal with shit like that me i just like to stay to myself but um i'll say every person that has came to carla venting about the relationship and how it didn't work out i say majority of them i'll say a good 99 percent of them just ended up going right back to the person yeah. and they'll come to carla when the shit hits the fan i guess that's another kind of blessing and the curse carla deal with these damaged people who come to her when shit hits the fan but then when shit is good in a relationship or when they go back you don't hear she don't hear from them mm -hmm. it happens all the time and that's probably another reason why i just don't fuck with people especially people who trying to come and cry and vent about their relationships same with um um who was the uh P, P and uh jock that's why another reason why i didn't get involved i've seen carla deal with shit like this all the time why the fuck am I, i'm gonna waste my breath my attention just because i know y'all gonna go right back with each other yeah it happens and all the time me i guess um the the human the this being that i am because i know that i'm put here to help people i know that um Something that I may say may change the way a person think, may change the way a person do something. I can never just, unless you just really do something fucked up. Like if you come to me, I would never be like, oh no, I didn't got burnt like this this time. Because at the end of the day, this is how I get my blessings. You know, it's like, what, like that quote I said, I saw the other day, um, and I think I, I screenshotted it when it was talking about um, your lesson in life is to learn your gift. And present the, it to the world. And, and give it yeah. to, and give it away. Yeah. Like basically not to hold on to it because if I hold on to it, what is it gonna do? So like when different people come to me, regardless of how many times, whatever happened, it's like, if you do something fucked up, I'm going to speak my piece on it. I'm going to let you know what we motherfucking stand. And then I'm going to release that shit. I'm not going to take it and hold it against the next person that I feel like I can help. Yeah. I'm to say mm-mm right now because you're mad. But yeah, don't act like you ain't it's like when people involved. get the texting and saying the right <laughs> stuff that you want to hear. And now you texting them back telling, you, telling them they know why you mad at them. They know why you mad at them, but guess what they do? They're doing this to get you back in. So once you're back in, yeah. guess what? It's who do you think you gonna chuck the deuces on again? Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. That's why when people get in relationships, and when I see how my friend is in a relationship, I figure out how we finna roll from that. If yeah. you know, I see that your relationship is bringing something in between me and you, and I done said it over and over again, and I keep saying that this is a problem, this is a problem, and you choose who you choose, you better deal Go with that. that lesson. You deal with that because I don't, I don't, I mm -hmm. don't say everything, and it's not fair to me to see it and for people uh, or for people to even be like, oh well, you're supposed to be a friend. So are you friend? Go to friendship go two ways, not one yeah. way. I ain't doing nothing that going one way. Nah, we gonna do this thing both ways. Mm -hmm. it's, it goes both ways when it comes to being a friend. So it's like, like I said, I'm not gonna see here and watch you crash Bandicoot. So how do you feel now that you crash Bandicoot again? <laughs> Again and again. No, but like seriously. And, and, and that these two women are still sitting right here that you always calling. When it's a situation like this, yet again, we are here. How do you feel? Because I ain't never asked this before. Oh, wow. I feel like it's most definitely a lesson learned. A lesson learned, most definitely. Now I know something that I've been feeling like I wanted to know for a very long time since I met the person. So it's most definitely a lesson learned. But um, what I'm glad about situations like this is when it- And I can finally it, move on. When it comes to Matt in situations like this, we are able to like, you know, he is one of the friends you can talk about it with. Like you ain't gotta worry about, you know, how can I say it? Like stuff going Like how most people Go to social media How most people mm -hmm. Go to other people Telling everybody I can respect the, the fact that Our Whatever it is That we do we, When we go back and forth It do stay, stay between, between us. us 
Like he don't, and it's no hard feelings. Like we'll argue right now, and five minutes later he'll come to the room like, okay, cause what we need your mom. <laughs> and I, I really do like that. It's like no, no tension. And I, I, that is what I really like the most. Cause you know, a lot of people arguing, there'd be so much tension. People mm -hmm. be like, okay, I need a few days, a few weeks to No, We can actually go back and forth and it can, it, it can always come out to, okay, you're not listening. Mm -hmm. I'm just through with it. That's just like when y'all was asking us about man, y'all seen us. We say, child man with his man. Y'all know how I go. Want to be laid up with your man every day. And y'all want to move in. Cause y'all just so in love. I think I threw a little That's shade. how we was. You know, a little bit probably did throw a little shake. Cause <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I it's think, like, I, I don't know, know, but I just know that we're not going to see him be like, child, man, man, gone. He chose the left to go be with a dude. He don't want to be out. He don't want to be around his no more. No. Mm -mm. It ain't going to never be that because what if that relationship would have worked? You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What if you would have elevated, prevailed, and it wouldn't have been those parting words that were said to you? Because the fact that that person thought that we were out of the picture, it mm -hmm. was who you finna turn to now that you doing this. Yeah, you Who you got? Too. You get what I'm saying? It's like but a, it's also it go. It, that's also reversed too because what if we really was out of the picture and you didn't have nobody to turn? Yeah, to? that's true. That's true, but because who we are, you knew we were going to stay in the picture. That's understandable, but I want to hear the answer of what if we wasn't yeah, there would, for you to, to have nobody to turn to? Like, what would you have done? In this moment, before you arrived to the house, what would you have done? I already mm -hmm. know what he would have did. I know the first place he would have went. What's the only place he would have went? That, no, I'm saying if the people... House. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. If mm -hmm. you wouldn't have had nowhere to come at on this end. Oh. That is what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, nobody linked us, no like, none of that. If, like, I you, didn't know nobody. Yeah. No, yeah, besides us, and you already know our people are done with you, what would you have done? Because this is how friendship get ruined over relationships. When it comes to uh, uh, somebody being with their man versus a friendship. This is how a lot of them get ruined. So, and a lot of people do be wanting to know these answers as well. So, like, what would you have done? I don't know. I can't honestly say. So, why put yourself in the I don't know situation? When it comes to a friend or a friendship or somebody like... Why even put yourself in that situation? Like, what makes you be like, okay, well, I could do my friend wrong because I'm in love with this man? Or are you not looking at it like that because you you you're you're so? I would never look at it like that. Like I'm doing my friend wrong. Or not like to get into details. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think of it like that. So how do you think of it? All right, so. What okay to me it seemed like red and a little bit bold is trying to get Matt to understand um the importance of the friendship that he have with them. So it sounds like they feel like they're being put to the side when he makes the decisions. So it sounds like maybe they didn't have words or something, and they are basically saying. He don't have anywhere else to turn to. And this particular person, whoever he was with, kind of got him in a situation like, okay, like maybe they really showed out on him and was like, all right, nigga, you ain't got nowhere to go to now. Now what? Right? So what they trying to get him to understand is, is you have to know when you have good people in your corner, you can't shit on them. Don't burn them bridges. Yeah, because... Not only is it important in friendships, I still think it's important in relationship when it comes to family. Yeah. You know, that's why I hate a lot of times like when people are, you know, gay and they family want to turn their back on them. Because then if something happened to them, then it's like the family want to cry and all this shit when you wasn't even there being supportive in the beginning. So regardless of the decision that they make, people have to live them live their lives for themselves. So, but if they come to you and they need help, you should never just have that door closed because if something happened and they die, now you want to feel bad. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it like that. So how do you think of it? I thought of it, it was like, okay, maybe I could balance friendship and relationship. And once you saw that you couldn't. It was like, damn, but let me try this 
and let me see if it worked. Not like experimenting, cause you know I've been new to person, but it's like, let me see. So it's like, let a, me finally do I'm gonna give you my all, and if it comes out that I have nothing, I just have nothing. So it's like a risk. Mm -hmm. He took a risk. A he took a leap. Of took a yeah, he most definitely took a risk. We know that. Yeah. He most definitely took a risk. I took a risk. Yeah. He took the risk that no one should take because we can't get into detail because that's not how yeah. we're set up. But you, you, all of us know what's up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He claimed he finna start a YouTube channel, y'all. He claimed he finna, he finna just do his thing. Oh, mad maybe he'll tell y'all on the story time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it comes to yeah. it and what what the parting words of that person said because I would check it out like, you just you know you know you know me I be, I was already ready I was like ah poop in the lab I'm telling poop don't call me I said no don't call me call poop because you know with me once the queen have spoke once the <laughs> wife have spoke that is that if she don't like you I hate you <laughs> you utterly disgust me you do so at the end of the day it's like a well you already know my choice if she done said what she said so there ain't no need to come over here but for me being who i am i'm gonna keep in touch because you in another state that i know it ain't no family and friends here besides us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day i'm gonna make sure you always know that phone can ring on both ends mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying and even if you gotta crash here and then get on the road and go back home to Florida, you know that you have somewhere you can do that at. Mm. It ain't gonna be a really out there in the cold world like that. That mm. is not how I'm set up. Right. And you can ask who I was saying that all the time. And this crazy you know, you that got, you even came around that. because Willie just asked me Willie the other really day. just said yesterday. Willie just, yesterday. Willie just asked just, me yesterday. Just Willie yesterday. said, so Pooh, you really threw it, Matt? Like, you done? And I said, yeah, I'm done with him. Like, it'll have to be life or death. And look, for me to for me to go back around him, or for me to be back in co into communication with him, mm -hmm. that's the only way I talk back to him. And it ain't death. You clearly see his life, and he in, it, it got there. Me, and I mean, well, and I mean I like within, I wake up around. this way, but I wake up this morning, and it's like, and you hear that, not not. But I feel like y'all been new. I wanted to come. Back. You know, from the messages that you were sending, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but and when you was offered to come back, you said no. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize me as your friend, cause I, and I'm gonna take Red out of this because I knew you first. Right. You you round because of me. Right. You were you was my friend. Right. I woke up, walked down there every day to your auntie house. That was me and you, me, you and Tubby actually. So to see how you let one person come in between all three of those friendships and the way you spoke to us, the way you talked to us, and the way you took up for him, and this is the one that's doing you wrong. We the one that's showing you love. So it's it, it was it's a very hurtful feeling, but at the end of the day, I still don't want to see somebody who I know I once said that's my friend in no messed up situation. So now it's really like a juggle. Now it's like, damn, you 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 gotta bite your you done bit your tongue. You done saying something that you really, you know. You really ain't mean. Like you done sat here and you done saying all of this and now look. But you also was speaking out of hurt because like you said, that that really was your friend. But what I be saying is a lot of things don't have to be said if we would just stop and just think for a second. And think about how we make other people around us feel. And that's, or how that's, you would make your friend feel. If a lot of people just stop and just be like, okay, how did how this person gonna feel if I really do this? Yeah, but I think when emotions are up it's hard to take that moment. That's why I don't like having conversations when things get heated. Because once it get heated, some hurtful shit gonna be said. So it's hard to kind of take that step back. And unless you just have, like, unless you can just be grown in the moment and just be like, you know something, let's just come back to this tomorrow. Where everybody emotions is not up. It's like you going to get into it and it's going to be some hurtful shit that's going to get said. And so now you like, oh, okay, this how this motherfucker really feel. Oh, fuck you then. And it's like y'all and already let it get to a boiling point. So I don't know. Polo mad. But I'm glad that like Red said, um, she still had an open door. I think he just. Like I said, I think it's some people in the world who, for whatever reason, they need guidance. 
like the other day when we reacted to Tay and somebody was saying that they were shocked that she was with Choice. I said, I actually think Choice is somebody that's good to be around Tay because he can help her as far as like trying to think more balanced when it come down to certain shit. Or like if she do something, he'll be the one to call her out and be like, bitch, you crazy as hell. But she also got to be receptive to it. You have to be receptive to yeah. it. But I do think it's good when you can have people in your corner that can make you think differently. Mm -hmm. Or take people feelings into consideration. That's it. And that's a major part in friendship. And that's something that I was like, he ain't taking into consideration, so I'm not going to do it either. I'm going to be just as nasty as he is. You know, yeah. so it's like, you know, thank God for me, because, baby, <laughs> that was finna be some sardines and whipped cream mixed together. Yeah. That's not good. That's okay. Good. That my stomach I'm just glad wow. that we able to be in a space to where we Top are grown mustard. and we just like this. But I don't want to get more into it because it can get a lot deeper. I just, we just, I just rather, I wanted to do this video for the channel because I need people to understand that this is really real life situations People go through like, real life you situations. really have friends that are like this and y'all wonder why they vanish and then pop back up and they don't say anything i'm gonna say something because it's still a learning lesson at the end of the day mm -hmm. and i will yeah. never bash you if you were my friend i'm not gonna bash you i'm gonna bash you unless you only if you bash me or if you chilling with a op or if you you cackling, you know what I'm saying? Knowing what we like, basically shit. now you laughing. But even with that, like y'all, you know? even with that, we learning to not even entertain that because yeah. when we entertain it, you bring it up. This is Mrs. Ratings. I'm Mrs. Ratings as well because I'm married to her. So guess what? We are the ratings. Exactly. So it's like as the I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Shut up. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> But it's like the I'm like right you we entertain that stuff and, and guess what? Now the people who saw us one type of way and I really just learned this lesson. Y'all a lot of people know what I'm talking about. I really just learned this lesson. Just shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Let people have it. You know your Look, she said she learned a lesson, but like you said, when it's your natural born gift. To. Yeah, it's like you think you gonna. How many times have you probably told yourself like that? I'm just gonna stay out of people's shit. I ain't gonna. Yeah. Pop. but it's like it, it's just it's hard. Yeah, because it's so I've had this moment even with Nick. I've had it with other people where it's just like even when I see shit getting out of hand, I'm like Carla, just shut up, just shut up. But then it's just kind of like the more you hear people just crash and burn and just say some shit. You be like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me? And you can't help nothing but to just be like, to lay the facts out in front of their ass. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> True. You know what happened? Cause soon as you say something, the first thing they gonna say is, you the backstabber. You been waiting to do this. You been wanting to say this. So mm -hmm. shut up. No matter how much. No stuff matter is, how much stuff is said, you. even if the dirt is coming, it's not gonna happen a little bit. Hurt, your truth is gonna bring so many it's lies, hard. like so many lies. And then by you telling the truth, you know when people tell the truth, the way that they say it, the way that they stand on it, and the way that they express it, people take it as oh you're aggressive, oh you so loud, oh you always this yeah. and you always that. So when you telling the truth, you know emotions really do get involved to where people don't no longer hear what you're saying; they only seeing what you're doing. Yeah. So now it's like nobody cares about that truth. We only care about this because she's making it funny, even though it's a lie. It's funny. Yeah. She's joking. She's cackling about it. It's funny, even though it's a lie. We still, girl, we laughing at you while you still over here trying to prove a point. Just shut up. Leave it alone. Well, I'm glad I laugh you learned about that. It. So try so it like you know. So um, with that girl, being fuck you. <laughs> with that ugly outfit. <laughs> I wish I could see what the fuck but she then, got on. You bought it. I, I, so I didn't buy it together. But okay. You went and put that on. <laughs> Why did you put on them shoes when I told you what shoes? <laughs> oh, I told you them shoes hurt. Because my socks, you know how you, when your um socks be so no, tight I told you your feet, the just, your feet just, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When little feet they spread, they just go all the type of Anyways, ways. Anyways, y'all. I'm just glad we was able to get to this point. Her so feet, like her, her toes go bow leg. Happy. Girl, that boy been happy to be back around us. He was wishing on a prayer that I wasn't gonna be mad. 
<laughs> he was wishing on a No, and then when, look, when I say we was recording, he told me something. I bet they don't even miss me. No, mind you, I've been up picking out now your clothes for tomorrow. He just comes to the and, <laughs> and sit, sit on, on the floor. floor. I seen him. I told him wrong. I say. And he ain't say nothing, just sitting there. I said, there. I ain't finna say that, mind you. I done saw him look up at me like this. <laughs> I'm like, I said, he is so childish. <laughs> and I miss going back and forth with him in the house, too. Because, baby. Because, sister said, why I gotta be nice? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all love y'all the most in the row. And I love y'all infinity of infinity. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave those comments down. Motherfucking comments down below. Oh, he's no, why my little ass down part in the Oh my God, you got his He is cute time. though. Yeah, he just caught mine. Why you rolling? You see, back, you see, see, just got out of a relationship. Look at you. you, you, you. <laughs> no, I'm a kid. Ain't that wrong I'm, with looking? You go chill. Yeah, I'm a chill on that. You gonna start working out and doing yoga? Yes. <laughs> Pilates? Yes. Oh, we gotta go Zumba? lift we gotta go lift weights. Yes. Yes. We're gonna take him to work out with no, us. I don't on the lift first. no fucking weights. <laughs> Girl. No. See y'all. See y'all. We can do yoga. Alright, y'all. So first and foremost, um, okay. Let's talk about why do you think people in the comment section, because they really was going in. Um, on this video in the comment section. Yeah, well, in, in our Discord. In so, our Discord, too. Yeah. Of why they said that they think that us outsiders should not have uploaded this video. Yeah, so, well, first off, let me say I don't agree. And you can um, stone me if you want to. I don't yeah. give a damn. Yeah. Um, so, people felt like this wasn't a video that they should have posted. They felt like it was personal. They should have had the conversation in private or I guess they felt like they were laughing at him blah 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 I didn't feel any of that what I did feel is that um they show people how you can have these type of conversations when you are in a situation with a friend that's what I think and um y'all like it's okay to color outside the lines they can do whatever they want to do. If this is how they want to present things, just because you got a picture don't mean that you can't make the picture bigger and better. So it's okay to color outside the lines. I think it's good because some people don't even know how to have these conversations. I know some people, they um, what avoid conflict and they won't even address it. And I feel like it's okay for them to show people how to have these conversations with your friends. Cause some people get in situations like this and they'll be like, fuck them. Or even if the friend come back around, it's kind of like they didn't kick shit up under the rug. So if something happened again, now they trying to bring the shit back up, you know, and it just yeah. make the situation worse because now you talking about the old shit that you didn't talk about in the past. Yeah, and I think a lot of times when you deal with people who are blunt or people who tell the truth, and even if you read up on, say, like a Sagittarius, who are known to be um, to speak their mind, speak their truth, they never come from a bad place. But a lot of people, when you're dealing with not just Sagittarius, anyone who is brave enough to just have those uncomfortable conversations, you tend to have people who maybe feel uncomfortable or maybe not brave enough to do something like that. Try to tell people like this, how they need to present the truth. Like this right. is uncouth. You shouldn't laugh or you shouldn't talk down or be condon, uh, condescending or you shouldn't be, um, you know what I'm saying? They see it as disrespectful when really that's just their style. That's, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And like, and the thing is, look at, she a Gemini, right? Yeah, she's a Gemini. Okay. So, the laughing that they were doing, it's the same thing that, like, I feel like a lot of times we do that. You know, we try to make light of a situation, even though it's serious. I actually did that when we reacted to PJ spot. When we reacted to P video. Which it helped. I laughed because the thing is, sometimes it will lighten the mood. They could have sat there and been angry the whole time. And the video would have really felt heavy. Yeah. So it helped for Red to be there to throw them little jokes in there. Yeah. Even to help Matt to kind of even deal with some of the stuff. Now, one thing I will say, I don't feel like, or it could be that Matt is high because I watched the mukbang too. 
and Paul Matt, Matt was hot. That's actually hell. that's actually what made me though curious about watching this video because when we saw like the true mukbang again, we watch us outsiders in our free time. We seeing them slurping on them little crab legs and all that, but it's like it was tension, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And that's when you brought up like the Discord and all that. Yeah, and I'm like, well, we need to check the video out. Yeah, and see the thing is, I feel like Matt. Um, and I don't know because I don't know Matt personally. This is just what I get. Like, I feel like he is really cool. I do think he's one of those people. Maybe he have a hard time expressing himself. And maybe that's why they was kind of asking him those questions to get him to think. Because sometimes when you ask questions um, like that, it can make people think about their actions or the space that they put their friendship in or their relationship in and it sounds like even though whoever this significant other is and his friend wasn't getting along he felt like some type of way he can try to make that happen and then eventually they would like each other but it just sounded like it wasn't one of them things so i think they do kind of help him to think differently i just think sometimes when matt high I don't know if he like me because when I'm high, I'm I'm high and I'm just kind of like, don't, don't ask me nothing. Don't talk to me because I feel like I'm not as smart when I'm high. Like you're not going to get this person that be speaking this wisdom. It's kind of like my brain just become a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, definitely hit the subscribe button. We l would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store. Yes. Remember to laugh. And we hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.